this one this one my bestie friend coconut oil hey guys so it's friday and actually i think it's like a quarter past two or 2 30 i don't know i've been working all day and i finally got done you know i'm having my internship so i've just been working from like early in the morning and now i'm going to do something i haven't done for quite a while i'm going to brush out a dreadlock don't you worry i'm not going to brush out all of them just like calm down it's just because i have a dreadlock up here that i've actually made myself but it is incredibly um thin like it is just holding on in i don't know but like not a lot of hair so therefore i feel like i could just as well brush it out so i hope you're ready for it i'm going to use my coconut oil just grab a bit and put it on the dreadlock And then I'm just going to start from the bottom and just brush my way up. I'm going to lose a lot of hair I have a lot of old hair um, here but I'm gonna go use a mirror in the bathroom also so I don't drop hair like everywhere in the bedroom so you'll see me when this dreadlock is all gone so wish me good luck I think it's insane that this is what's left of it and this is everything that I brushed out of course the hair is a bit dry right now and I also decided to just cut the very ends or tips of this lock um, because it was like very dry so <laughs> but it's just insane it's really insane to look at this hairball and know that it was all stuck to this lock but I think it's going to be better now because seriously that dreadlock was just stuck to a small small amount of hair and I don't want to have dreadlocks that will at some point hurt my scalp um, a lot or um, completely ruin my scalp, make problems in any way. So I brushed it out and it's crazy. That was one thing I wanted to do today. Um, besides from that, I'm going to make my sister some scrunchies. It is her birthday tomorrow. When you'll be seeing this, it's either on her birthday or the day after her birthday. I think this will be up on tomorrow saturday or sunday um but i need to make some scrunchies for her i think i need to go to the post office with a parcel and there is a couple of things that i really want to get printed out so i think i'm gonna get the parcel ready and the things i need to print and then go to the city and do that and i can't wait to show you what it is and maybe i'm gonna practice a bit on my ukulele i'm going to watch x factor because it's friday and yeah, just chill, I think, um, even though I have a few things to do. Also, I need to make Daniel dinner because he is at work. So that is another thing that I need to do at some point. And I think it's three o'clock now, so I should get moving. So maybe this is not going to be the most interesting vlog in the world, but some of you really like to just follow me around, so I thought I would film it anyway now when I have the time to do so so let's go someone bought this beautiful poncho from my Etsy shop so I need to get that ready to be shipped out um, because it should be shipped out today so let's oh you can see the holes in my tie so I made a snapchat today so I'll just put it here you should go follow it and just thought why not make my first ever snapchat post so because the weather is amazing so i just thought why not show you on snapchat so the weather is so 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 pretty look at that yeah. 
I just came back home and I'm so sorry I didn't film more than I did. The weather is so amazing, but there were so many people in the city today. So I just felt like wherever I was, there were, there were people staring. So I just didn't manage to film much, but I'm sorry guys. But I'm going to make myself some food now because I'm starving. So I have dinner, a salad with some noodles, I have some water. And this was one of the things that I went to get printed out. As you can see, it is some lyrics and some taps for some songs that I can play on my ukulele. I have Sam Smith, Stay With Me, Ossie Osborne, Burn, <laughs> Dreamer. I can't pronounce her name, Alanis Mosiete with Ironic. And then I have a million taps, or actually 184 ukulele shorts, to be exact, on this one. And I have a map to put all of them in. I bought it um, yesterday, so I can't wait to fill this with songs and stuff. So I just have an update on the Snapchat thing um, because I'm just such an idiot to use like Snapchat. I thought that people could just add me and then they could see my story and everything. But I think apparently I need to accept all of them so that we are friends and then they can see or watch my story. I feel like I'm an idiot. I feel like I don't quite understand like how everything are supposed to work but I've made a small story now and those who have added me can watch it I think <laughs> so still go find me on snapchat so look at my map the outside of it and then with my songs in here I think it turned out really cute so because I haven't been playing for quite a while, I think we're going to play Ozzy Osbourne with Dreamer because it is the easiest one of them. The reason why I haven't been playing a lot lately is because my ukulele, the first one that I got, there was something wrong with it so it sounded a bit weird and therefore we did go and hand it in and we told them there was something wrong and I got a new one. Gashing through the window at the world outside Wondering will Mother Earth survive I'm just a dreamer I dream my life away interesting because apparently I remember less than I thought I would. Guess it's true I'm not good at a one night stand But I still need love oh, Apparently it's been too long so at the moment I don't remember how to play any of these songs so it's pretty bad <laughs> but I really have to go make the scrunchies for my sister. It is her birthday tomorrow, she's turning 18 and my brain just can't accept and understand that she is turning 18. Um, to me it's just insane, like she can't be that old. Um, but yeah, I really need to go make some scrunchies. I will play some more for you some other time where it's tuned and I remember the Shorts, shorts, shorts. So I think I'm gonna go do some sewing now. So I've made two scrunchies. I think it is like one and a half hour later now. And yeah, I made a white one for my sister and a black one. But I feel so, so tired right now. Like I could sleep. But at six o'clock, I need to figure out like what to go purchase for dinner because at seven o'clock, my weekend starts like we talked about last Friday. Um, seven o'clock for Disney show, I won't do anymore 
um, like that is when my weekend begin. So I need to go figure out what to purchase for dinner and then go shop and relax. I almost forgot the most important thing. I have to make my sister's birthday present ready for tomorrow morning. So let's do that. I had a lot of stickers laying around so I decided to decorate this box. As you can see it is from my vegan cuts but I just decided to decorate it a bit and then I'm going to put the scrunchies in here. That was it. That is her presents for tomorrow. Finally Friday. I'm having some noodles and this is just the water from the noodles that I'm going to drink. And I have some salad, some red bell pepper and some um, peanuts and some cheese. And that is my dinner. And yes, it was kind of also what I had for lunch. And I am watching Disney. This guy is just so cool. I love him. I love the fact that there are so many different people represented this year. I think we have some very different and special types that we haven't seen before. We have the guy that showed you, the rock guy. I think he is like the oldest person we have seen in X Factor in the live shows um, before. I'm not quite sure but I think so. And also just the, the, the rock that he brings to the stage. We haven't seen before in the way that he is doing it. I think it's so cool. This year we also get to see two men that has been living on the street. They have had nothing. Um, the, the life was just about surviving and getting their drug. And now they are family guys. They're an X Factor. They have just turned their lives around in the best possible way. They have gone from nothing to like it's so beautiful. And they are also in X Factor this year, so I just think there are some interesting types. Also, we have a woman sitting in the, I think it's called a wheelchair, I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm not used to using these words in English, but she needs a machine to be able to breathe. So she needs to bring this machine everywhere, so she also brings it to stage. And that is just another very different type that you don't see every day and especially not in a program like X Factor and I think that's so interesting so so we really get to see some different people this year and I think that's really cool I think it's it's a good thing this is her 